Hey folks, glad to hear so many people are enjoying the Nine Days of Devastation series covering the Combiner Wars Constructicons. Those take quite a while to make though, so while I'm working on the next batch of reviews, I wanted to do a quick little video here, a virtual read-through. I've, uh, I've done a couple of virtual read-throughs of the Art of G.I. Joe by 3D Joes, amazing compilations of G.I. Joe box art. And uh, for today's video, we're going to be virtually looking through this thing. Picked this thing up on eBay a number of years ago for next to nothing before the uh, big 80s toy resurgence, explosion of nostalgia for vintage toys. It's the Centurion's toy catalog from Kenner. So uh, I don't believe this was released widely. I think it was just sent to... Toy stores, toy dealers. We're going to slip this out of the cover and take a look at this. Um, there was some sort of information here that's been cut out. So probably um, the store's information or the receiver. And uh, it's the 1986 Kenner Toy Catalog with information on what's going on with Kenner's new toy line Centurions. In the spring of 1986, there's a figure trial promotion, $3 rebate on 750M packages, bounce back, assault weapon system rebates in packages, uh, March, spring mini series, five episodes introducing the program, so that's cool. Letting the toy stores know that there's a cartoon coming along, generally toy lines supported with cartoons would do better. And then in the fall of 86, Assault Weapons Systems, Continuity Promotion, Free Powered Doom, Drones, Tracker, Purchase of Any Two Centurion Items, TV Support, and then in September, 65 animated programs, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And then there's an index on the back, which is kind of funny, but uh, we see some information here. And good old Kenner. Miss you, Kenner. It's not the same without you. So let's do a little virtual uh, read-through of this classic Centurion's Toy Fair catalog. So we'll open the cover up. And on the inside, we get a blurb, a little write-up about what Centurions are. And this is the backstory right here. Top military program is stolen from the world master computer. Good old sci-fi backstory. Kids everywhere will want to share in the adventure and suspense of the Centurion's mission. And we get some art of Max Ray with the cruiser weapon system. Uh, Jake Rockwell in the middle. And Ace McLeod. And this is some really beautiful box art. This is reminds, reminds me a lot of the He-Man box art. Just beautiful works of art. Lots of shading, coloring, even background. Lots going on in the background. We've got Jake Rockwell here powering through some barbed wire. And then some of the other weapon systems here as well. Wild Weasel, the baddies. And some of the larger weapon systems up top. Flip to the next page. This is numbered page two. And we get some information on Ace McLeod, Man and Machine. Um, so this is just information on the single figures with their small weapon systems that are included. A little uh, write-up on each character. It's, it's wild. Like I, I've known about these guys for over three decades, and this is the introduction introducing them to the toy stores and um, it, it's interesting that they would be given all of this information you would think that they would just be told here's the toy and sell the darn thing but uh, Kenner was all about creating a world here maybe so that toy store employees could fill kids in if a kid asked <laughs> a toy store employee who is this guy you can just imagine the employee going, well, that's Jake Rockwell. He's the land operations specialist. And you give them a little bit of the backstory. 
And we flip the page over. It's not actually a really thick catalog, but it's a, uh, I should mention it's some really nice thick paper. And then we've got the baddies here. It's Doc Terror and Hacker and a Doom Strafer. So we get some images of what all of those look like. And images of what the box will look like. And some backstory on who these guys are and what their game is. And we flip over, we get some of the assault weapon systems. Here we see Wild Weasel. And there's Hornet. Look at the photography here. This is what really uh, inspires some of my uh, vintage toy photography. When I do some uh, effects or take the toys outside for some action photos. Look at the lengths that they went to here. Instead of just photographing this on a white background, this is awesome. This uh, stony background that goes on forever, a volcano or something like that in the background, a canyon. Just incredible. So much better than just a plain white background. And we flip the page, and it's Aces page, so we get the same deal. Some sand. He's set in some sand and nice blue skies, a little bit of purple there. The sun is setting. Beautiful photography. And we've got Orbital Interceptor there and Skybolt. Pictures of Skybolt over there and Orbital Interceptor and pictures of what the boxes would look like. And some information on what these weapon systems are all about. It's a new and we're nearing the end here actually um, max rays weapon systems look at that seabed that they made to photograph them on that is awesome and uh, not many weapon systems at this point but they look fantastic and I don't know, maybe that might have been a, a deal breaker um, for a lot of people and why Centurions didn't sell that well. The action figures are sold separately. I, I kind of didn't like that when I was a kid, seeing something like this guy right here, Depth Charger, but it didn't come with Max. So Max was already an expensive figure and then you're shelling out even more money for that or for that. Uh, it just seemed like a heck of a lot of money. For not a lot of bang for your buck, don't get me wrong, I love Centurions, but at the time, I don't think they were your biggest bang for your buck. I still think G.I. Joe takes that title, absolutely. And we're at the end here. So this is what uh, potential store, store displays would look like. So they have uh, these great little displays at the top and a mock-up of what a wall of centurions would look like and that is wild i actually have the pegboard in behind in there and that's what i remember it looking like boxes and boxes of things i couldn't afford but looked so awesome and then we're here too look at all of these weapon systems unbelievable Really cool. Cool templates for toy stores, showing them the potential of what it could look like. Really cool. Headers, four foot plan, six foot plan. And that's it. That's the uh, Centurion's 1986 catalog, Toy Fair catalog, show off catalog type of thing. I haven't gone through this in years, so it's it's cool to crack that open and look through it again. Really, really cool. Hopefully one day I'll be able to track down um, if they made a 1987 one, um, which would feature vehicles like this guy, the uh, swing shot, and the other weapon systems which 
I, I say they escaped. They weren't released because they're in such uh, rare numbers. But if by chance you happen to have the 87 catalog or know where to get it, uh, let me know. I'd love to add it to the collection and do a video like this one, looking through uh, that catalog as well for the uh, unreleased items that were planned for the second year of Centurions. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And until next time, Nerdmas Day!